Hello family members and today you're welcome to another edition of the King Stevens Hold Hands Movement and I know I've been gone for a while <laughs> you know I've been kind of busy with some work and projects coming up so I apologize for that I have a lot of questions I haven't answered yet but I'm going to answer them but not today but I'll answer some today and um hi doctor my name is christian madi i am a video director from congo i'm a big fan of your works and thank you to all the tutorials on youtube channel god bless you a lot thank you very much bro i have a preoccupation about color grading how to pop correctly specific colors on your shirt please brother help me i'm going to help you bro um like this shot you made actually the picture he sent was the manibela and then also the the range the link is going to be on the description box below um it's on youtube already you can just go ahead and watch but i won't show you how to pop colors with this image i will i will use another video the video i did for the old blaze b <laughs> one other thing a lot of people have been asking me to subscribe in french or to talk in french and I want to say this, um, I am very, very, very sorry that I can't um, subscribe in French for now. Or I can't speak in French for now because my French is not that good. But for the meantime, I am looking for someone who can actually help me on that. I'm looking for someone who is very good in French and who can subscribe in French so that it can, it can be helpful to everybody to both the english and the french people so for all those who have been asking me to subscribe in french all my french brothers i'm very sorry for now but i mean i'm on search so as soon as i get someone who can subscribe in french then definitely you're going to have your french version and that being said uh, let's move over to work is an artist of alpha beta records but this video was shot way back before he got signed and the video wasn't released so up to now i'm still waiting to hear what they have to do with the project because he he changed his hairdo as you can see in his last video on the alpha beta um front and back he had a different hairdo the link is going to be on the description right now i don't use adobe premiere to do color grading um, I use DaVinci Resolve because I came to understand how good and flexible DaVinci Resolve could be and I will advise you if you have a very good computer then you should dive or you should dive it to DaVinci Resolve it's a very very good software for color grading but just for the fact that I know a lot of people don't um, use DaVinci Resolve uh, because first of all it needs a very good machine very good graphic cards and ram to run it i will just demonstrate uh, what i have to do in this program but from time to time i will dive back to davinci resolve and should in case some of you are interested you just ask the questions and i'll walk it through in resolve my brother christian maddie is asking that he wants to know how to pop out specific colors um you can see um Lesby's shirt is yellow and trousers is red, you know, the tax is yellow and stuff like that. Let's say we want to pop out um, this yellow and the red, just pop it out. Um, let me just play this song so you have a clue on how the song goes. I want you car correct. I want you car correct. I want you car correct. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. It's a very nice song. I like the song. Salati when I release this song, no masa. Bless me when I release this song, man. This song is, is, is dope. Okay, so I'll just pick out my hero shot. You all know what's a hero shot, right? Okay, hero shot is a particular point on, on your image which um, shows everything you need in that image so you can begin to color grade. You see like for example this is a hero shot you know i can see the skies i can see the clothes i can see the background and everything 
so i'll just i can see the shoes too so i'll just take this as my hero shot i'll rush and do some fast grade the way i always color grade i divide color grading into three different sectors the first one is i'll call it the basic color correction or the primary color correction which is where i will work with exposure saturation and white balance then the second one is what i call secondary color correction which is where i will now select the areas in which i want to pop the colors and pop you know if i was in um davinci resolve i'll now relight the scene if i want to i'll you know create some vignettes and all that then the third one now is where we actually apply the grade or if you want to apply it a lot you just apply it a lot so i'll just try to do that with premiere but it's it's very actually very easy in davinci resolve but since um, we are now in premiere i'll just try to do that in premiere so and the secondary color correction like i said i'll just like to pop out some colors specific colors and you no know, i'll come over to my hsl secondary which is um u saturation and luminance u saturation and luminance u means color like different colors you know in the simplest term then um saturation is how much the color goes or how less the color goes then luminance is how bright the color goes or how dark the color goes i don't know if i make sense so we have u saturation luminance hsl so we want to pop out the uh, you know yellow i'll just click on this at then i just click on the yellow like so so as you can see here yeah, something happens so if i click on this box i'll now only see what i'm affecting so i could just play around add more yellow you know this is the u add more yellow like so then add more saturation like so like so no this luminance add more luminance to the I really want it to then soften it a little bit so, like so okay so we can see what we are affecting we are affecting this yellow color so if i click on this box it goes back so you see what we are affecting here we are affecting this yellow t-shirt and some of the taxes down there so i'll just denoise and blur a little then i'll come now to my correction tool here yeah, this is where i'm going to make it yellow so i'll just use my vector scope to check out my saturation level we all know what ve vector scope is all about is to check out the saturation level um, to make sure your yellow doesn't exceed the limit you know this is the limit so i'll just you know kind of go switch it to the yellow like so you know i could just pop it out like so let me bring it down to yellow and i could just play with this depending on how much you want it you can go to right over here but i really want it to end around right about here so if you see before after before after you know you can also you could also just you know come and increase the saturation here so you can see before after before after so take a look before after before after we just increase the saturation so i'm done with the yellow so I will now move ahead to pop out the red to pop out the red so I'll use another luminary color since I cannot use the same one because I already used it to affect this um, yellow if I just use it to if I try to add to the red it's gonna spoil everything so the way I do it I'll just add another luminary tab and move over to the hsl secondary just click i just click on the red trousers then i select what i want to select 
come over to the saturation yeah um i forgot to say this this sharpen means saturation it's a mistake made by adobe so i believe they're going to correct that sharpen here means um saturation i don't know why what happened so i'll just pop it up like so you see then i can now i can bring down the light the lightness down like so as you can see it's it's really it's really getting better oh i have to use my vector scope so let me see i want to add more red to it so um more saturation you know just play around to you you get what's good for you so as you can see this is um before and after before and after you can see how it impacts the, the trousers greatly so let me see i want to pop out the blue maybe this house a little um let me just see if i can do that add another glumentary just click on this house here then uh, pop it out the same thing we did so just follow along just go to the blue like so then you can just add the saturation if you want and you know bring down the luminance like so see what i mean so i mean you have you just change the u so as you can see it's very easy to do so before and after before and after after doing this with my hero shot i'll just go ahead i'll just go ahead and copy and paste all of these all of these um primary and secondary colors on all of my images and we're going to come back okay and yeah we're back just pasted my secondary and primary color corrections on this all of my footages so this is where we apply our grade so yeah you can you can just apply a lot if you want or you can as well you know grade it yourself but for tutorial purpose i'll just apply a lot so i'll just place an adjustment layer on top of all of my footages so that um it, have, it affects everything below or beneath and then i'll just apply a camera over to the creative and apply um, a lot um, let me see i'll just use the adobe premiere lots yeah, i'll just browse over and see which one suits which best uh, yeah i think i like this one so before and after before and after before after i think i really like this one yeah. so can just come and do some simple you know checkups and stuff like that so we just bring down some more highlights you know some white bring it down a little you know add some more contrast a little like so and increase some more shadows like so so you can see what we have here so we still keep the clouds, the details in the clouds. No. Then we can go ahead and just do our vignette. Come over to vignette, you know. Bring it down like so. Feather it like so, you know. Vineyard is so cool. So you can even go more and do more. You can even do more. You can just still under there. I just mean like you could even add more saturation if you want, like so. You see, it all depends on what you want. All vibrant, you know, 
just add a little then sharpen a little then you know for those who like faded film look like me you can just add some more faded film look so um, you can even play with the highlights and shadows thing you know you can you can work with the highlights like so you know bringing more cool coolness into it so if you can see the before and you see the after see what it does it's kind of warm it's kind of cool little you know we can now uh, see can add more rest to the shadows like so so before and after let's see if it, the blues will go yeah the blue makes sense in the shadows so before after before after so you see You see how it looks it's really beautiful you see we have our final output and I'm really satisfied with, with the outcome you know if you want to just do adjustment on single shots just come over leave just leave this adjustment layer you can come over to the to the footages itself and you know you just touch what you have to touch so just come over let's say Let's see, I want to add more contrast here. I'll just come over to these and just add a little bit more, you know, like so. You see, let's see, I want to add some more highlights. So just add it like so. Let's save in here. Then take down the white a little bit down. Take down the white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's pop out the highlights like so and bring down the whites down a little okay so i believe you've learned something and if you did please click the like button don't don't forget to share also you know just i mean share to your friends you know subscribe don't forget to subscribe please <laughs> okay and christian madi i hope you've learned a lot from this uh, i mean you can just go ahead and ask more questions um, for those who want to ask ask and uh, it's all about helping each other <laughs> and that's it so my information is going to be in the description box below my if you want to check me on youtube on facebook on twitter instagram every details is down on the description box below so just go ahead and ask any questions you want and i'll be happy to reply you with a video tutorial so um thank you and once more you're welcome to the king stevens holdings movement and see you next time